Hi, my name is Muhammad Hidayatullah. I'm a self-taught photographer and videographer from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I would describe myself more as a storyteller than a photographer because my photography is all about human interest and moments. How I take my photo is I like to be as close as possible to my subject and immerse myself to any surrounding to understand the value from their perspective. Since I have a background in architecture, I found that there's a lot of similarity between architecture and photography. The language between these two disciplines complement each other like symmetry, golden ratio, scale and proportion, hierarchy and even human behaviour. All this started when I travelled to India 7 years ago. This is where my interest in taking portraits and documentary style photos begins. Right now, I'm currently working as a photographer for an international NGO for more than 5 years. All these years, I have seen my work has slowly evolved to something impactful. Most of my photograph is full of emotion. To get this emotion, I usually listen to my subject and by listening, I can turn their stories into a photo. The idea for a subject will not only come in the form of a person. Sometimes, it could be formed from a faces of a book, a places, or even a moment. My editing process usually starts in Adobe Lightroom and I will import that photos to Adobe Photoshop. One is cropping. For my cropping method, I will align these eyes along this line. Second, I will do black and white adjustment. I will go to the adjustment and I choose black and white. Then, I will select black and white in adjustment so that I can choose a specific color for my black and white. My last step, I will use dodge and burn brush to highlight a certain point in this photo. The most dominant part of this photo is the eye and I will use the dodge brush to highlight the eyes. These are the three things that I use in Adobe Photoshop. So that's how my simple step to create a dramatic portrait in black and white.